welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and you guys had an amazing Pala Boy Shack. So today I'm back again with a review video and um, I really wanted to like review a few affordable makeup products which are available in the market so you guys can actually try out affordable makeup uh, in good quality makeup in cheaper price. So that's why I'm going to be reviewing a few products from City Color today. So let's move on to the video. Okay, so the first product we are going to talk about is the City Color Contour Palette 2. I believe they do have another one which is the first one and this is the second edition. And here we have a bronzer, a highlighter and a contour shade. And in this one, I thought the bronzer shade was actually like kind of around my skin tone so I can actually use this one as like a highlighting powder, like underneath my eye or a setting powder. But I was totally wrong. I just tried to clean up my um, contour with this one with my beauty blender and it turned out so dark. So I don't think that I will be able to use this one as a setting powder. But as a bronzer, it's very light on my skin tone so it won't be like working as a bronzer anytime soon. And another thing is that they have a highlighter. The first one which is like the first edition, that one does have a highlighter too but that's more of a setting powder than a highlighter. And this one is actually a shimmery highlighter which you can actually use to highlight your brow bone or cheekbone. So this one is actually kind of uh, a icy white gold highlighting shade. I've used this one today but um, it was not actually like gliding on so I had to spritz a little bit of fixing spray in my brush then apply this one with the mist I think it looks really good I'm not a fan of like um, this type of white gold highlighters and here we have the contour shade I think it is like a very if you like very chiseled contour look you would love this one and uh, this one like it surprised me when I saw that this one actually have like little bit of shimmers in this one like why would they put shimmer in a contour powder I don't know that but the shade is actually pretty good for like contouring and it goes with my skin tone too but if you like use a little bit too much then it might turn out muddy so make sure you're like grabbing little by little because this product is really pigmented just let me show you the close-up of the product then you guys would understand what i'm talking about i don't know if you guys can pick it in the camera but let's have the flash on so you guys can actually see that this one actually does have a little bit of shimmer going on but when you apply this one in your cheek it doesn't show up anymore so it kind of like falls out the shimmer actually falls out so it's not like shimmery contour in your cheeks and this is the bronzer shade and here is the highlight as you guys can see it's a very icy highlighting shade and this one is like is pretty good if you're like looking for a good contour kit with a good highlighter and a bronzer then I think you guys should go for this one the contour palette too is actually more on the ashy side whereas in the first one is a bit more warmer than you expect and um, of course you're getting a highlighting shade in this one like you're getting a shimmery highlighter but in the first one you go you won't get a highlighter so I think if you're like looking for an affordable contour palette then you should go for the second edition one because this one does have a contour color a bronzer which you can actually use as a you can dust off this powder in your face as a bronzer so if you want like mm, very subtle bronzing going on in your face but i like my bronzer to be very warm so that's why it's not working in my skin tone and the highlighter is pretty much good for the price you're paying you're actually getting a lot of like stuff and also it is very cheap i am not sure about the price but i will link uh, where you guys can find these products and we're gonna move to the next product which is the eyeshadow palette the next City product Colors. we have in here is the City Color Fictastic eyeshadow palette and the thing that is missing in this eyeshadow palette is there is no matte eyeshadow for like using as your transition color or your crease color so that's definitely a miss for this palette but other than that if you're like looking for a great quality or like a little bit okay quality eyeshadows then you are going to love this one because there is like 
some pop of color and also the neutral shades you guys can use this and um, as your like lid color I have actually used this whole palette for my eye look today and it's kind of like shimmer everywhere so let's just swatch these eyeshadows to see how actually they are the gold shade is the one that I'm wearing today in my eyelid and it is like amazing like do you see the pigment guys but the thing that I don't like about this is the smell. It kind of like smells like cheap eyeshadow, like a little bit chemically. But other than that, if you're okay with the smell, then it is a very great eyeshadow palette. And there is this black based purple color, which seems more of a black. And if you're like mm, dabbing your brush into the eyeshadow, you will get a little bit of kick up as you know it's really affordable and the quality is a little bit low but it is not something that you cannot work with and this eyeshadow is I think uh, this type of palettes are really great for beginners who are like just getting into makeup and who want to play and learn at first so if you're like looking for that type of product this is definitely one and then we have this brownish olive color And here is the maroon shade. The purple is the one that I'm wearing in my lower lash line today. They're a little bit powdery, but not something that you cannot work with. And this is like a duochrome pink shade. Overall, the eyeshadows are great, and I use the peachy two shades as my transition color today as I didn't have like any matte eyeshadow from this one but overall it is quite good if you're looking for an affordable eyeshadow the swatches do look good right the gold one the yellow gold one is pretty amazing. so that was the swatches of this eyeshadow palette I didn't swatch these eyeshadows because they're like a little bit sh shimmery and kind of the same so this is the Fictastic palette and let me know if you guys would like a tutorial with this one and um, overall what I think about this palette it is it is it is good it is good it is okay but if you are uh, like not beginner and you want to like spend on a like very uh, good quality eyeshadow then I would suggest you to go for sleek eyeshadows rather than these eyeshadow palettes because the smell is like mm, smells chemically which I don't like so overall this palette is like a 3 out of 5 so you guys can check this out if you guys want to and let me know if you guys would like to see it eyeshadow tutorial I'm very picky about the smell of my makeup product because it actually irritates me smell is something that um, is very like important for me and I do not like strong smells of any. Another great thing about the City Color products is that they are cruelty free. So if you are like vegan or you want to use cruelty free products, then you guys can definitely try them out. And here I have another palette. This is like neutral lover's dream, totally. But another, <laughs> again, another thing that it doesn't have any matte eyeshadow. So you would need, if you if you are like planning on uh, using this eyeshadow palettes, then you would definitely need a matte eyeshadow palette where you can find your transition colors and also crease colors. Let's get into the swatches of this one. This is like a very neutral eyeshadow palette. It does have like bronze, uh, top eyeshadows, ashy eyeshadows and uh, gold. So let's swatch this one. So I'm starting off with the first shade. It pretty much seems matte in my hand but it does have like a little bit of glitter or like a satin finish it's it's kind of satiny so and this one and the other one is this one which is pretty similar to the one that I'm wearing in my eyelid today it is a bronzy gold one and then we have like a champagne shade then we have a white icy shade it seems pretty matte in my hand okay 
it will be very, like very good for highlighting your brow bone and here is another kind of like golden champagne shade and the, then we have this toppy brown shade and again we have some more deeper brown shades let's just watch it in here They do actually look pretty good, so I think those of you who love like the naked eyeshadow palettes from Urban Decay or those type of color range, it will be good for you guys. But again, it does not contain any kind of matte shades. And let me tell you, this one does not smell that much like the Fictastic one. It actually smells pretty decent and it does have a little bit of like florally scent to it which I think is very subtle and I like this one actually it actually smells good so definitely for the pigmented colors I would give it a 5 out of 5 but the drawback is just that there is no matte eyeshadow in this palette and of course they do have a powder kick up so keep that in mind when you are buying this eyeshadow palettes that you will definitely need to work with this with a with a gentle hand or you would need to like wipe your face after doing your eye makeup because you will probably and then we have the city color mattifying balm and I have been actually using this one for the past one while I went outside of home whenever like I need to go to my university or to run any errands so i have been using this one and it is actually like pretty mattifying i love this one for the mattifying effect it does control the oiliness of my nose while i'm outside but uh, it does not like fill in your pores and um, make it less visible so keep in mind that you can actually use this one for mattifying your face but not for like pore filling um, so it is actually a pretty smoothing and great one but it won't fill your pores and it is pretty matte, it feels so nice. But the downfall of this primer is that the packaging is a little bit wanky and it, it came off from the case that it was supposed to be stuck in and I think they could have done a little bit better in packaging wise but I love the balm so I would give it a 4 out of 5. The product I mostly like from the City Color Cosmetics is this like hot eyeshadows or illuminator or primer, I don't know the white gold one says it's a primer in one side and shadow in another side and illuminator in another side here as in the white pearl and the bronze one or, or the rose gold one does not claim anything on the packaging so that's a little bit confusing but i have used this one as my eyeshadow base today and i really like this one as and you guys actually i think you can also use this one as your highlighter base for your cheekbone it is pretty amazing and it does stay put it does not budge or move away so it is pretty amazing and the color range is like very beautiful i love the white gold one because it is a pure white gold like it comes in like this type of pot and it's a mousse like it's in there and let me show you the swatch you actually need a little bit of this one i'll actually take it a lot more right now then I need it just see how amazing this one is I love the white gold one out of the three eyeshadows and it is pretty good as a primer for your eyeshadow I actually use it as my primer it today the eyeshadow pretty good and they are very cheap in price they are like around 350 taka I am not sure about the pricing but I think it was 350 taka so it's amazing for the price what you're getting and let me show you the rose gold one so here is the rose gold one let me swatch this one for you it is more of like a bronzy type of shade whereas in, it's not that much of rose gold it's kind of bronzy compared to this one and they do come in with a cap so you can securely tie this one and it won't like dry out and they kind of remind me of the makeup revolution foil eyeshadows but it is not glittery they are like cream product which is 
for the shine it is great as a primer you can also use this one as your cheekbone highlighter if you like cream you pads. guys have already seen me using the city color blush in the shade sweet pea a lot of times like that one is like one of my most favorite blush from the city color cosmetics and they are a pretty like affordable brand so their products are quite and here is the white pearl one. This is truly a white iridescent pearly shade. I love this the one. The white pearl one is actually a little bit glittery than the other two shades. So here it is. I love the glow of this three eyeshadow primer. So these were the products that I wanted to talk about. And um, I hope this video is informative and you guys find it helpful. And also I will link where you guys can find these products um, and I will link their website and also where you guys can find these products also here in Bangladesh so definitely check out the description box below for that and also don't forget to subscribe me on YouTube and don't forget to hit the bell button because you won't be notified if you don't hit the bell button so make sure you're hitting the bell button and also don't forget to follow me on Facebook Instagram Twitter and also in snapchat and I hope to see you guys again in my next video till then you guys take care bye bye